I obviously starve my sheep to death. There's something about when they eat their meal. I brought up a new mineral bucket. That's not it. That's that's uh, the old mineral bucket. But I brought up a new one that's over near the water over there. But something about <clears throat> sheep eating their meal of rolled barley and sugar beet stimulates them to think they're starving and want to consume their hay. Look at that. Yeah, I starve my sheep. Look at this clever clogs. She's eating the hay underneath the gate. <laughs> Excuse me. So loads of hay. Happy sheep. As it's St. Valentine's Day, I thought I might show you some kissing trees. This is a kissing tree. It's two trees that grew up together and are kissing. They grew up together without interference or human intervention and they grew into each other. So uh, this tree this is an ash tree. It's kissing twice. Once there, and if you go up, 
It's kissing up there as well. So it's a double whammy kissing tree. As you can see, this is a hazel. This is a hazel tree here. This is a hazel that uh, my grandfather used to harvest for firewood. I haven't, I probably should, but it might be too mature. But this hazel tree is doing the kissing thing as well, right there. You can see it's two stems and then they join together and kiss there and then they separate down here. So another kissing tree. So that's an ash and a hazel. Now I'll bring you to a beech tree. Loads of frog spawn in there. Oh look, and there's even frogs. There's a frog right there. But you can see the frog spawn is all over there. Piles of it. It's that time of year. Oh, and another frog. Oh, there's several frogs in there. Busy times. So, one frog there, another frog there. So there are at least two in the vicinity of all the frog spawn. This is only one of our locations where frog spawn is. I've got to go see if the other one has uh, got frogs in it or not, or frog spawn for that matter. So some years we have frog spawn here in this pond, but it looks like there's so much water moving. Oh, goodness me. Choking on duckweed, are we? The dogs all love drinking here because it's sweet groundwater full of minerals. But there's uh, no frog spawn this year. I've got to clear up that fallen tree and trim the ivy back, not the ivy, the brambles back so it doesn't catch a sheep. Often in here, there'll be loads of frog spawn, but there's none. Oh, uh, what are you doing? You're rolling in something stinky. It better not be fox poo. You're stinky. Yeah. Don't be rolling in stinky fox poo. Bold puppy. <clears throat> Often this is full of uh, frog spawn and there's none here yet. There might be later. There might be more later and there's none back up in there either in the woods. So, and they don't do it in water tanks because of the chlor uh, chlorine and other things that the frogs don't like, so fresh pond water but obviously not here yet maybe later now puppy don't fall in he might think duckweed is um he can walk on it he hasn't fallen in here yet every animal I've had has fallen in on duckweed cats and dogs because they think it's walkable once they've done it once <laughs> they don't do it again that's for sure. But <clears throat> no, no frog spawn even in this overflow yet. There could be some later. I'm going to take this grass out because it'll degrade the tank. This is one of my big nettle patches. And the weeping willow tree. And this is the water tank that when everything else is frozen, pipes and mains and everything, this is where I get the water to feed the, to, for the livestock to drink. Because it comes from underground, it's warm and never freezes. Anyway, that's one water tank built by either my great, great grandfather or my great, great great-grandfather. It's been here my lifetime and my grandfather's lifetime. So we don't know when it was actually built. Some of the scrub plum is out today. But as promised, 
I'm bringing you to the last kissing tree here on our farm. This is a beech arch. This was planted by my great or great great grandfather. And in here, some of the trees have died. There were trees there when I was growing up. The trees here are a tangle of branches creating this arch. And here you can see the beech tree is kissing. And there So this is my great-grandfather's beech arch. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Oh, well, it's okay. What are you barking at? Hmm? What are you barking at? <laughs> I 
There's dogs are digging next to me as I'm transplanting snowdrops. You can see this is a drift of snowdrops I planted three years ago, four years ago. I can't remember. Anyway, these are more. These are late blooming snowdrops. So those are the early ones. And these are late so that you get more snowdrops. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come on. Come on, everybody. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Dog boops. <laughs> Guys, they're bored. Bored of me planting snowdrops. And you're lying on them now. Maya, what are you eating the soil as well? Look at that. What are you eating? Very strange dogs I have eating soil. Look at that. Actually eating the soil. Now Java's just digging. <laughs> anyway. Planted and planted. Now I'm going to go find somewhere else to plant snowdrops. As you can see, these are drifts. When I came home, there were snow snowdrops around here. And I've slowly been planting this woods with drifts of snowdrops. With help. Such helpful dogs. <laughs> What are you digging? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Definitely interested in something. My assistant diggers. Oh, and now you've made an appearance. wants attention. He won't sit still. He's such a attention-seeking puppy. Isn't that right? You're such an attention-seeking puppy. Isn't that right? You just want attention. Mm. I know you do too. <laughs> Everyone's had their flea and worm dose except for one person who's hiding. <laughs> He will not come in and it's raining and wet and nasty. <laughs> I know.
know, it's not funny, but I am laughing. It is kind of funny. Everybody else has had their fleas and worms done and dusted. Even your son Java the floof. But no, <laughs> she's staying determinedly out under the car where I can't reach her. 